shit, you live it. Oh 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 shit, you live it. What's going on guys, Ignorant today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make those over edit skin glow effects that you have just seen on screen. Now, before we get into the video, I just like to remind you guys to please hit that like and that subscribe button if you haven't already, as well as leave a comment down below in order to help me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, so yeah, once again, do make sure you are subscribed if you have enjoyed my content. Uh, even if this is your first time, just go ahead and just go ahead and hit the subscribe button, you know, there's no, uh, there's no point in not doing it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, so essentially, you have seen all of these different skin glows uh, right here in the intro, obviously, so I'm not going to show them to you again. But what I'm going to show you is how to actually uh, recreate the circumstances you need in order for these presets to work. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is actually just drag in a clip that you want to use for me. That is going to be this, uh, this free build right here. So I'm just going to cut it out right here. And what you're going to want to do is just, so I'm going to cut it right, right there. What you're going to want to do is just apply your Twixter. So I'm assuming you have this synced up and whatnot. You can do that later. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you how to actually do the practical stuff with the Twixter. So you're going to want to go roughly like here, I guess, when the character is pulling out his pump and you have a clear shot of the character, even if it is behind. You apply your speed percentage. You go four frames forward. So one, two, three, four. You set this to 30. And now you go forward however long you want the slow mode to be. For me, it's going to be like here, I guess. And then we add a frame here. We go six frames forward. So one, or one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Drag this up until the character goes blue right there. And then we go three frames forward. So one, two, three. And then we set this to 50. Now, once you've done this, just go ahead and render all of this out. I'm going to go and save first. So file, render as, and then just go and render them out in your normal render settings. Now, it, this should still be pretty high quality because if you render this on low quality, it won't matter what you render the entire project out as afterward because it still will look like garbage. So yeah, just do make sure to, uh, to render this out in high quality, just like this, and uh, I'll be back when it's done. All right, the Twixter is now rendered out and I've gone ahead and dragged that to the side. Uh, now what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is just go back to the version with Twixter on it and just split the clip right there when uh when there is no twixter on the left side and everything is right here so just split it on the first frame just like so you go and go forward to the impact right there and go ahead and add a marker now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is either uh, manually mask all of this area out right here what you're going to want to do in that case is just hold control and drag it up then go into the cropping tool right there just enable masking and then just start masking the character out like that uh, but if you do have a roto brush uh, ready, then you're going to want to go ahead and just drag that in. So I'm just going to go ahead and do something like that. I'm going to go ahead and just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to drag that down there. Project file, media, obviously, and then just get the mask sorted out. Now, if you do this, just go ahead and sync it up. But if you are just um, masking it manually, then just go ahead and do that. Uh, go ahead and trim the mask so make sure that you only have all of this stuff. And now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is once you have the mask trimmed right there and it just synced up just like so, what you're going to do is just copy the event attributes of this Twixter layer by pressing control C and then pasting that on your mask. Then you're going to drag the mask out to your impact and it's going to look like that. And now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is isolate this uh, mask right here. Go ahead and just save. And what you're going to do, go ahead and do now is go into video effects tab and search for edge detect. Now go ahead and drag in, uh, actually go and drag in the default settings right here. Go ahead and drag the saturation down to zero, but then just go ahead and play around with the actual edges until you find something that just sort of goes around the entire thing. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is actually just go uh, into your uh, video effects tab and search for tint and apply default, go to tint lights and just make this red. Just make sure that the entire thing is red like that. This needs to be red or the colors in the presets will be completely fucked essentially. So do make sure that the character is red when you render it out or the rotoscope is anyway. Uh, just go ahead and render that out as a quick time. Just go ahead and copy these settings right here. Just go and pause the video, copy those. I just go ahead and render that out. I'll just name that five mass roto. And then that is going to render out uh, well very soon. 
But essentially, when that is rendered out, you can just go ahead and drag that over your Twixter layer. And you can apply the preset, and then it'll just work uh, as fine. But yeah, um, you do need to make sure that there is a red edge detect on the uh, the clips or on the mask because it is just that's just how it works. I that's how I made the presets, and that's how you'll have to have it as well. Uh, but yeah, if you guys didn't enjoy this video, make sure to like them below, come subscribe, all the good shit, and I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.